is the decorated kickboxer back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 127 pounds. Fighting out of Pohang, South Korea, And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, through the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, some action corners, come out there. You ready? You ready? So, all right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big Paul Brunch lands. Now he gets back to range. Unable to land the head kick there. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Nice kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big body kick. Big clutch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. You 
got to check these low leg kicks. The kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Oh, big strike lands. Big strike lands. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Big head kick lands. Straight punch lands. Strong hook lands. Straight right. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Establish that jab once more. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking for finish now because he's got a opponent hurt very bad. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Lance a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Good. So let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action. But the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, how about the head movement? Slips his head off the center line and then rips back. Right hand landed. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, <laughs> don't you? You love that jab. And both guys really throwing with authority. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jabs. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Counters with the left hook. Nicely done there. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh, and he caught the kick. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Big punch from the clinch. Back and forth we go. He went high on that one. Nice punch lands over the top. Big head kick. Oh! oh. Serve him up. Go 
Watch his block. Great number six. Great number one, number one, number one. All right, let us now look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC. And as far as flying knees go, that one was near perfection. Yeah, I mean, that was as perfectly timed as you're going to see a flying knee. He propelled himself off of the octagon canvas and landed that knee perfect. Got the knee to the target and really did hurt his opponent. If you are winning this fight, I need you to stay doing what you're doing. All right? You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world class display of striking here tonight. There's the leg kick, that one checked by Lee. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Oh. Chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effectively. Just over three minutes now to go. Left hand punch with the clinch. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body. Really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body. And especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Nice loop and punch. Kick. He lands with the left. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. I mean, he's cutting it down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Can't take many of those. You better check. Eyes kick attempt there blocked. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Right hand punch from the clinch. Final seconds of round three. Right time. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. And what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. You ready? You ready? So we have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. How about that chin? Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. 
Oh, he might be out. Looks like it did stun him a little bit. Oh, nice jab. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. All right, less than three minutes to go here in round four. Big punch lands through the middle. Head kick attempt, unable to find the target. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Let's go! Push, push, push! Get free! Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your ball. Man, this is some serious ground and pound, and that's gonna do it! He's done, he's done! <laughs> yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So, a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. First Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 20 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout on. Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You go on the after party or what?